Hi and welcome to October 2023 Perception New Card Reading. My name is Emily Bacon, the creator of the Perception New Cards, which are these, very brightly coloured. So I'm just going to sit here and just shuffle them a little bit while I talk to you. If you would like your own pack of Perception New Cards, you can get them um, from the description below. Okay, just have a look click down don't forget to subscribe as well love to hear from you um, and maybe there's things that you've actually seen in the cards as well do have a look and maybe you get a different reading as well from that as well and you may get one that's much more personal to you obviously I'm just doing something that's very general for the whole month okay so let's all let's begin shall we all right so how we start this is, as always, I just pick a card randomly after shuffling them. So simply looking, you haven't got a clue um, which way round. Right, so I'll get rid of the rest of the pack. Yep, I've just got one. Now, it has come up um, before that I've picked a card and it's been the same um, one for a previous month or something like that. But we'll have a look to see what this month brings, okay? Oh, fabulous lovely do you know what i get to see a turtle oh my gosh i'm just suddenly seeing a turtle there's the turtle head and there's the body okay and there's the there's the fins they are fins aren't they flippers flippers fins flippers flippers i'll go for flippers um oh 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 and i've just seen a fairy and there's its wings <clears throat> so yes yeah, so oh lovely quite it's a it's a nice card okay <coughs> i mean they're all nice but however um it's just coming out with lots of optimism okay and um a community uh for a lot of you probably say oh yes it does remind me of the sea um thank you if it does remind you of the sea because that was the aim these uh <laughs> that's the inspiration it was to just create ski seascapes and uh like that now i know um from doing this a while now that if i turn the card around and i get to look at it as per usual i'm not seeing the same thing so when you do get your perception in cards um when you look at them further away they're they're completely different they are really different um compared to when you have them close to so these are so that's what it looks like so that's one way of having it the other way of having the card is to have it that way around. Now, for me, automatically, I'm seeing a dog and a butterfly. Here's a butterfly's wing, all right? Some may say moth. It could be a moth. Um, for me, I always see moths as um, nighttime butterflies. It's as simple as that. They both pollinate, okay? So um, moths live a little bit longer, I bet, I think, possibly. Don't know. Don't know much about moth. Anyway, so here I get to see a face. Um, and actually, the first thing I got to see was a dog's face. So there's this ear there, another ear there, eye, eye, nose. So it's kind of like one of those 3D images there. All right, so if I turn it this way around, I'm still seeing the dog, I'm still seeing the dog. If I just hold it there, that's a bit less glary, isn't it? Um, yeah. Mm. See, normally, so this is what I get everybody to do if they come to me with for a reading with the perceptionary cards. And by the way, if you do have a face to face reading with me with the perceptionary cards, then you do get to have your own pack as well. Um, yeah, I know extra added bonus bonus. Um, so yeah, so here we go that way around. No, it's not doing it for me. So it's a way of just having a look to see which way around it fits for you. For me tonight, it is this, this way around. Um, I'm actually also seeing a, a kind of like almost like a ram's head here. And there's there's one of its horns just there. Um, but it's not. It's much more mythical than that because it's actually a man's head that I'm getting to see. Now, before all of you jump into that whole crazy sphere that is the devil, blah, 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 that's not what I'm actually getting to see. With the turtle on the top and with the fairy, um, I'm also just this way around. For me, I'm getting to feel that this is about myths and legends and all things possible as well. The greenness is such a good freshness. 
um, it's vibrant, it's learning, it's actually holding, getting getting it all together. And obviously October, we just passed that whole harvest month of September, but this is just bringing it in a little bit further. The pink for me is always about unconditional love as well. So in October, we'll be having that love emanate from everywhere. And if I'm not mistaken, a few channels will start to show a lot of Christmas films, you know, with a happy ever after, always... The girl gets the guy or the guy gets the girl at the end, you know, um, and it all works happily after that. But again, what intrigues me is here, is the sea turtle. Now, for me, the turtle is a vegetarian, um, as far as I'm aware. Apart from it does eat um, jellyfish, so not totally a vegetarian, but they do eat a lot of the seaweed at the bottom. Of the sea they hold their lungs they have great capacity but they're steadfast in their own way they are they glide through the sea effortlessly so what i would say is if you see yourself as a turtle you'll be able to cope with it your october will be a month where we just glide through it um, i do feel as though there will be kind of tales and stories and things like that popping up now, whether or not they're good or bad, that is something you're going to have to find out for yourself. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a mixture. You know, like with any fairy tale, there's an element of fear there and scare, but there's a moral morality. I don't know if that's a word, but we'll go with it. But it's, it's very much about morals and saying this is this and that's that. Um, and this is the way that you should do You know, like Little Red Riding Hood. Mm. Be a little bit suspect with the grandmother. Obviously, the wolf came along. But there's always someone there to have your back as well. So, yeah, so it's very much for me, um, the turtle obviously lives for a really long time as well. So there's a longevity about it as well. Now, for me, I, I've been feeling like the months are just zimming past. Um, and we, you know, we just don't know which way is up and which way is down. For me, I have it seeing the turtle, there's such positivity for the month of October. I do feel it as though I'm going to glide through it. I may be going off on wanderings. I may be here, there and everywhere. Um, but it's just going to be a lovely journey. October is going to be a wonderful journey. So I'm looking forward to it, actually. So as I turn the card around, because I do like it this way around as well, because obviously I saw the dog's face and I saw another face over here um, and things like that. And the more I look at it, the more I get to see it. So hopefully you can see that. Try not to get any glare on it. Um, and hopefully you can see the moth. So there's the moth or the butterfly, if you like, the butterfly. Now the butterfly, everyone will say, absolutely, it's all about transformation. So there are things cropping up in this month about changes and they're going to be fantastic changes for yourself. This is not about external changes, what's going on with politics, what's happening here, what's who's doing this, who's doing that. It's about you. And this is your time to flutter like a butterfly. All right, and if it's your if you're a night owl, then it's flutter like a moth, drawn towards the light. Okay, and um, actually both are drawn towards the light. I hasten to add that um, butterflies do like the light as well, and they like the heat of the sun. So very much a card which is all about upliftment and gliding and sailing through things effortlessly, and with that elegance to it as well so i think october is going to be one of those months where we just kind of go gosh that's a really lovely month it's a really lovely month just before we head into november and december now we don't know quite yet what's going to happen there because that's a little bit further on and we have we're in october okay we're in october for me the dog shows loyalty and friendship and companionship and that's such strongness but also that's about communication and the emotions for me the dog is just looking that i'm listening i'm hearing you so look out for listening to other people understanding what they're wanting and it may be just that companionship as well and that friendship that they're looking for which which is absolutely lovely to have as well but it's also about loyalty dogs are actually really very loyal animals 
Um, so yes, it's great to see them. Sorry, I keep on moving the card around. Um, right, let's just go back here because I want to go and talk about the fairy up here. And now I can still see, still see the butterfly there. But for me, that's that's the turtle's head. That's its flipper. And there's another flipper back there as well. So what about the fairy? Okay, so it depends how you see fairies, okay? If you see fairies as being magical creatures, which they obviously are, um, and, and oh, well, it's all, it's all about whimsicalness, okay? It's all about, a, it's all going to be a fairy tale. It's not going to be real. Well, I put fairies into that magic realm as well. So then there's that little bit of element of magic. And since we're in the heart area, I think there's magic to be had in October and to do with the heart as well. And it may be your heart because this is self-development. Don't forget, this is about you. Okay, you as the individual, not necessarily about others this month. This is about you, very much so about you. And seeing that coming alive, it's like, oh, I'm going to have some fun. And it's about letting your heart fly. Be like a child as well. You know, it's not a case of uh, always having to be serious. Um, and we've got that element. I mean, December is about being a child as well, isn't it, with Christmas and things like that. And festivals, other cultures have different festivals as well. But again, that element of giving gifts and also just having that whimsical side of childhood memories and this is what it is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yes, yeah, so for me, that's what I get to see there as well. Um, I'm also getting to see something here. I'm not too sure. It hasn't formed itself. And up here, I'm getting to see something. Again, it hasn't formed myself. Just look out for tales, okay? Tales which may not be true. There will be an element of truth in it, but not wholeheartedly. So this, again, may be in the news. It may be a case that something's close to you and you're just kind of going, you know what, there's something's not ringing quite true with it. So just look out for tall tales, all right? Um, I know if you're the dog, you're listening, but it can just, it may not be a case of passing on the story because it may be a case that is a little bit of gossip. It's not quite right. It's not quite true. It's already gone through the Chinese whispers and what you've ended up with something that's very much altered from the very beginning, okay? So again, it may be a case of just keeping your counsel. Just be prepared to hear things that you just kind of go, oh, I don't know about that. I'm really not sure about that as well. The other way I wanted to have it is this way around as well tonight. In fact, I'm, I'll probably go through all of the different, so I've gone and done that, I haven't done. Let's go this way. Because I wanted to actually see up here, and again, I feel as though I'm seeing wings. There's a lot of wings in this card, um, and this is much more angelic. So if we have it encompass that into the month of October, the angelicness of it, the magic is starting to appear and come to us. The ether is getting thinner in October because obviously at the end of the month we have All Hallows Eve or Halloween where the two worlds are very much um, close together and they stay close together. The veils have lifted. But here we have the wings of an angel to guide us and to protect us. But also, don't forget, this is about emotion as it is about communication. So that of being having that clarity but that love to it as well and um, for me that there is coming through there with about the love and it for me it's also about a case of you are being looked after you know your words are being chosen for you etc okay so having it that way around we've had it we've had it this way around and now we're going to have it this way around sorry i just only saw that as a parrot of all things so again, listen out for the words that you may come out of your own mouth. All right, so it's very much, there's a head, that's the bit here in the throat where they actually hold all their bird seeds as well. Um, I think budgies, budgies is much more, but a budgie is part of the parakeet family. So they're really clever, okay? So let's go back to this. This is you, all right, this is you. So you use your cleverness. Okay, use your wisdom, use what you've learnt, 
All right, and communicate that across to others to where you're wanting to. And don't forget about the love. You know, I feel as though the love will be communicated very much so in this one. So when I'm looking at this, I, I uh, for me, it's just so optimistic. And it is just a wonderful card. And I feel as though, yes, time may go quickly. Time will probably go really quickly in the month of October. But it will be one of those ones where it will feel effortless. And it will feel like and all of those hard bits of hard work that we have to do, which is be kind of like, oh, it's all gone through pain, pain sailing. So that's the way around originally. I like it. I love seeing the turtle there. It's just lovely. And I love to see turtles. I really, really do. Um, I would love to see one in real life. I find them one of those most elegant, graceful creatures um, that grace our planet. And there's such a majesty about them. They're quiet. They're unassuming. They're not here to cause anyone harm or danger or anything like that. And they're just peacefully living on their own lives. And I feel as though that that sense of peace and serenity is definitely in this month as well. Strangely, considering all the stuff that's going to be coming up. But there will be a sense of calmness, sense of peace and being able to breathe properly. Sea turtles so do breathe properly. But again, it's a case of that will be coming up as well. And maybe this is the calm before everything gets haywire. So look out for this. This is a nice, beautiful month of October 2023. Calmness I get, peacefulness, plain sailing, going through things calmly. But don't forget your own self-worth, you learning about yourself, having the wings to fly, being protected by the angel, having the dog there for loyalty. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on in October. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to me. There's the card once more. And again, these are the perception cards created by my true self, Emily Baker. And don't forget to look and look at the link below. Click on the link below and that should take you over to the cards if you're wanting to get your own pack. Bless you. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you next month. Take care now. Bye bye.